Hey guys, so I've taken this look from the Electro Synth Pop group, Canadian group may I add, Dragonette from the video Easy and to learn how to do it, keep on watching. Now the first thing we're going to do is apply some sort of iridescence to the lid. First I'm going to use a color called Photorealism, which is sort of a champagne color but with a lot of gold reflex. And I'm just using a stiff flat brush like this one. And I'm just going to apply that on the lid. And I'm going to be gently blending it upwards. Then I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm just making sure there's no harsh lines. So just blending the product a little bit. Now I'm taking a little bit more of that shadow and I'm applying it in the crease and just a little bit upwards up to the brow bone. And what I like about photorealism, depending on your skin tone, but for me, with the shimmery and like the gold reflex, I can I can practically say that there's a little bit of green in there, but that's fine because there's green in the look, so it just kind of uh, it keeps in the same family. Then I'm going to take another very light color, which is basically a skin tone color called Shroom. I'm using the same brush and just wiping off any excess. And now I'm just going to apply that color right underneath the brow. And I'm blending it downwards with the photorealism. Next thing, I'm just going to use a matte black and an angled brush. And I'm just going to define my lash line like I do in every video of mine. So I'm just pressing that black right into the roots of my lashes. Next, I'm going to take the same angle brush. I'm going to take Black Track Fluid Line from MAC, which is just a cream gel liner from MAC. From MAC, from, I just said MAC twice, whatever. And I'm just lining my waterline. Don't worry if there's a little bit of smudge, because for this look, we like the smudge. And if you can, try to line your upper lash line, water line I would say. After that you've done that, I'm going back in with my matte black and I'm just going to use sort of a small smudger brush, which is the 214. Now remove any excess, or you're not obligated to because we'll be working with any fallout if there's any. But for now, I'm just kind of I'm being very generous with smoking out the lower lash line. I'm just, I'm going like little by little, but it's really up to you because this look is very grungy and very dirty. You can also go back in with your gel liner and apply it to the lash line because it's gonna help with the smudging because it's creamy. As you can see, I'm going very, very kind of, I'm not precise. So just free-handedly, I'm just applying a little bit more of the gel liner. Then with the little smudger brush, you can go back and keep smoking. Well, this look is definitely only for the brave or for the ones that like to have fun. Now, as you can see in the inner corner, I kind of messed it up. Keep it there, don't remove it will be working around it. Actually with it. Hand in hand. After that you smudge the closest area to your lash line. I'm just taking a bigger brush, a 239, and I'm just going to smudge even more. I'm taking a bigger brush because it will help me blend in the bigger area. I'm very happy I finally have the time to do this look because I've been eyeing it for a while. And of course, I've been a fan of Dragonette for a while too. After I'm going to bring a little bit of green in this look, I'm going to use the color Sassy Grass. And I'm going in with my 239 again. Now you don't need to apply green because I'll be applying glitters on top, but because I really want the green to pop, I want to make some sort of a base. So I'm just applying it right underneath the black. So I'm not 
literally like making a round. I'm, you'll see why. It's very grungy. So this look is very, very easy. Like it, there's no really technique to it. You just need to be messy, very messy. Okay, now I'm going to be applying lashes on the topper, on the topper, on the upper lash line, right before I add the glitters, because I don't want any glitters in my actual lashes. So I'm using the NYX EL129. So now that I apply the lashes, I'm actually going to add a little bit of depth into the outer corner on the top part of the eye. I'm going to use Fiction, which is basically an olive green shadow, and I'm just using a fluffy brush. I'm just going to make the inner corner a little bit dirty, so I'm going just into the V. Nothing too precise, just to add a little bit of depth. You, know what? you don't want it to be like extra neat. Like I said, it is a very grungy, dirty look. So you see, both sides are not identical. That is fine, don't worry. This is the fun of doing a grungy look. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara. Now the mascara is a big part because we'll be like smudging, smudging, smudging the upper lash line a lot. And once I reach the outer portion, I'm kinda making it smudge my upper lash line, my, um, my lid. And if you want, you can go ahead with the mascara wand and just smudge it. You see? Don't be scared. Just smudge it like that. So just when you think you're done with your mascara for the lower lashes, apply another coat. I'm telling you, we want the clumpy. So I'm going to use Sincere as my contour today. And I'm just going to use an angled blush brush. Now I'm going to contour my cheekbones quite heavily so I'm going to go all out with the contour because Martina has crazy cheekbones Martina is the lead singer from the group like great she has amazing bone structure but enough said let's go back to the look now because I want those cheekbones to be very very defined I'm going back in with blunt which is basically a brown contour now, let me stop you right there. If you do want to recreate this look, keep just a regular contour. I'm going very heavily just for the sake of it because I love it and it makes me sick in a good way. So if you want to be like sick just like me, go ahead. But I just want to warn you, warn you, it will be very, very intense. Now I'm going to focus the color in the hairline at the top of the ear. Now for the lips, there's barely nothing on them. I'm just gonna modify them a little bit. First off, I'm going to line them entirely with the Naked Liner Lip Pencil from MAC. Now you could skip this by just applying, um, what's the word? Cover up, foundation. But for this time around, I'm just gonna go in with a lip liner. This will totally leave it out to your lips. I think it works better actually than the Lip Erase from MAC. Then on top, I'm actually going to use a lip gloss from MAC called Young Thing, which is basically just a champagne color. It has um, tiny bits of gold reflex to it. Now the fun part. I'm going to use some petroleum jelly and I'm just taking a synthetic brush and I'm just tapping it onto the lid it will kind of start creasing the product that's on there mascara and everything after some blinking time it will work its magic now I'm gonna do the same wherever there's green on the lower portion of the eye and when we'll be applying the glitters it will kind of stick to it so we don't need adhesive whatsoever. Once you have that take some green glitters as you may see here a little bit 
And now it's time to go crazy. Now what I'm doing, I'm taking a little bit more of that cream gel liner from MAC. And I'm just adding to it, building. Now at the end of the video, you can, the video, now at the end of the video, you can see that there's some tears action. If you can make yourself cry, go ahead and let those tears fall down your face. But what I'm gonna do is just use that kind of cream liner, mix it with some petroleum jelly so that it's not as opaque. And just work them. And there we have it guys, a very trashy, grungy look, which is definitely a beautiful disaster. Now I hope you enjoyed and I uh, will see you next time. Bye. It all depends how you, oh, something felt weird in my tummy. It did sort of a And it's not because I'm hungry, because I just ate a big piece of sausage. Mmm. Okay. I think this look is so fabulous. I love it. Love it.